Hey, Chef Eric here and... Chef Jason. We're at the Redbird Kitchen. So we're gonna play with some chicharrones. So we're cooking pork now. You would think, but, but we're a chicken company. The chicharrones are a piece of thigh meat, and the beauty of thigh meat is that it's got both skin and fat. I like it. We don't trim it. We purposely leave the skin and the fat on little bite-sized pieces. Perfect. So you're looking at a, a piece that this is a, an appetizer type of an item, sure. a, a snack type of an oh, item. Totally a snack. Bar snacks. Um, movie snacks. Movie snacks. They're kind of like popcorn. Once you start eating them, you can't stop. Perfect. All Let's right. Let's do this. So to make chicharrones, uh, you can actually just put some seasoning on here and throw them in some fry oil. Okay. But they don't render out so well. They, there's a lot of shrink to them. Um, do they so get crispy that way or not? They do get crispy, yeah. um, but we like to put a little bit of a coating on the outside, whether it be flour, rice flour. Um, cool. In this case, we're going to use some masa, which... So corn flour. Corn flour. Very cool. And anything in it? Anything you want. In the masa itself, yeah, there's nothing. absolutely nothing in it. It's just corn flour. So we can flavor it however we want. Exactly. Wow, well, might as well So the beauty is there. you can go hot, you can go mild, you can go sweet, you can go salty. I like it. So mix it in good, I assume. Gonna, yeah. Yep. Nice equal mixing in here. And I have been selected today as the breading machine. Is that Ooh, correct? I, it is. It all is. Right, so tell me what to do. All right. So typically, if you're at home and you're all by yourself doing this, yeah. you want to have a wet hand and a dry and hand. A dry hand. I'm going to be your wet hand. I'm the dry hands. So we're I, just going to take a big handful. Perfect. I'm going to sprinkle them in. Okay. We don't want to, you know, overly clump them. I don't want to make like a ball of chicken and dump so it in. So I need to kind of like toss them. Exactly. Make sure they don't clump. You're the washing machine agitator. I like this. Smells pretty good. All right. So all you're really looking for is an equal coating. So kind of like perfect. That. Yep. So I just do this a little bit, get some flour exactly. off. Exactly. So I, I, once they're done, do I need to let them sit so that that masa sticks to it or is it pretty well stuck? It's pretty well stuck. Um, you know, if you like the crispy version or the extra crispy version, if you wanted the extra crispy version, you're going to let these sit. You're going to let that masa soak all the way in. And then do it again. And then you would do it again. So my favorite cut of chicken has now become my favorite movie time snack. Exactly. Perfect. You guys are innovators, man. So now all we're going to do, now this product we will have to use a deep fryer. Okay. It is, it's how it's made, it's, we're making fried chicken. But I can set up a little fryer. I mean, I could do can do a little do, pot of oil exactly. in my kitchen. Perfect. Nothing overly expensive needed for this. Cool. So now we're just going to take these over and we're going to start cooking. Love it. How hot do we need this oil? So I would recommend oil to be somewhere between 350 and 400. Okay, The cool. important part is you don't want it to be smoking in your kitchen. So I that just, will actually burn. I just drop these in here? Very carefully, carefully. Drop them in there. Put the chicken in there, not your fingers. Now you're going to be careful. You want to do this nice and slow. Yep. So that way as you get, see these bubbles coming up. Well, and I can gonna, see the oils coming up too. Exactly. So you don't want to. Don't want to add too many. Exactly. So kind of let them do their thing, or do I need to stir them? Or? You don't need to stir them too much. Uh, a little bit at the beginning like you just did, yep. so that way they don't stick together. Okay. But once they're free, uh, they're just, they'll stay free. They, they won't stick together anymore. So they started floating to the top. Does that mean that they're done, or how they're, do I know when they're done? They're getting close. They're getting close. So A, you're going to look for some color. Okay. Be nice, that golden brown fried chicken color. So some of these are starting to get done, and this some of them... A little bit more. A little bit more. Okay. Now the beauty of this is because they're thigh meat, you're not going to overcook these. Oh, because the thighs are always so juicy. Exactly. You've Love got it. the moisture in the, in the thigh meat. Love it. So you will start seeing they're not going to be uniform in shape. Yeah. Uh, that skin is going to kind of curl up. Well, it looks like some of it even kind of splits off a little exactly. bit. Exactly. Some of it can split off. And that's good. That's okay. It's totally okay. All right. That's part of the goodness. Okay, so now I notice some of them look like they're done. Exactly. Just kind of go into a bowl to give them a little drain yep. or what? Yep. So we'll drain them with our spatula a little bit. Now, what if I wanted to like season these a little bit more? When's a good time to do that? You're going to want to season them right away as they're hot. So hot so out of the oil. We're going to use some of, your, some of the dry seasoning yeah. to add a little spice to it. Love you it. can also use some straight uh, liquid hot sauce if uh, you want. Buffalo chicharrones? Exactly. <laughs> gets better by the minute. All right. So nice and hot. Our oil is still hot. Yeah. Give it a little toss, right? A little bit of a toss. I like it. I like that a lot. Yeah. 
Let's go a little bit more. I like extra seasoning. Perfect. All so right. now what? We're all so done. So now, now, we're, now we're done. You can take this in a bib and it's good to go. Good to go. Or you could actually plane them up and make them a little bit nicer for your friends. I like that. 